All right, what is up, guys? Today is Monday, January 21st, 2019. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and today I'm coming at you guys with Floor System Test 41. As you guys can see, I'm deciding to keep the uh, Floor System Test series going. I'm not starting anything new. I'm keeping that series the same, even though I'm in a new location and everything. I'm still uh, keeping the same series going just for simplicity. As I had mentioned in the last video, the last uh, update video I did a couple days ago, um, I am now running with this uh, Simplex uh, 4010 addressable control panel. This will be my new uh, main panel for the time being. The 4005 system and everything else I had wired into it. Um, this I hope to wire up and get it going pretty soon as a um, separate system. But ultimately I hope to um, tie the 4005 to the 4010 and uh, make it into one um, big system, kind of. But right now, none of that stuff's wired up, so the only thing that's uh, that's currently powered up is the 4010. Um, I'll go ahead and show everything to you guys really quick, since you guys didn't see a whole lot of it in the last video. Let me uh, go ahead and pop off this dress panel. So inside the panel, we've got all the um, circuitry, of course. This is your SFIO board. This panel did come with an optional uh, DACT card, like the 4005 did. And uh, I will not be uh, utilizing that, but it is on here. Um, the panel currently has two troubles. Um, one is just the time and date, and uh, the other is the battery. I don't have batteries for it. So, um, that's all that is, just uh, two very simple troubles. Hopefully I'll be able to get batteries for it pretty quickly here, but uh, I'll show you guys my wiring really quick. Obviously, uh, I have my uh, AC power coming in down there, and uh, this panel is really nice. Like I said, I mentioned in the last video, this panel came with pretty much everything I needed to get started. There, uh, somewhere down there, I got a whole pack of extra resistors. These end-of-the-line resistors were already on the NAX. Um, and uh, it comes with, it has the battery cables already there, so all I have to do is plug the batteries in when I do get them. Um, since this is an addressable panel, it uses addressable ID net uh, devices. So up here, instead of zones, we have your ID net loops. Um, these jumper wires were already here when I got the panel. They were already installed uh, right where they are, and uh, that's how... Um, this panel was configured when it was installed in uh, wherever it was, but uh, so I have um, I kept the jumpers on which makes it a class 2 or I'm sorry class B wiring. I have the um, Positive and negative wires coming out of the B plus and B minus terminals uh, and That wire is going down to my new uh, simplex 4099-9003 addressable ID net um, dual action pull station. I got this off of eBay a couple days ago for like 20 bucks used. So, um, and with the ID nut, um, I have this pull station. Uh, I have the device address on it set to M1 1, which is pretty much uh, just the easiest. Um, there's dip switches on the addressable module. I just have the uh, I just have switch number one flipped up and the rest of them flipped down, which makes the device address M1-1. So very simple. It's the only uh, ID net device on the loop right now. I don't have anything else. Um, so very simple. And uh, with the uh, quick config on this panel, it made it very, uh, very quickly to um, program that device in. So obviously this is just a regular addressable panel. Um, the NACs are... Um, non-addressable, they're just regular um, conventional um, NACs. So I'm not using any of the NACs ex except for NAC 1. NACs 2, 3, and 4 have uh, end-of-the-line resistors on them. Coming out of NAC 1, I have uh, two of my SmartSync True Alerts, um, both um, pretty unique models in white. I have my 4906-9134 multi candela chime strobe and my 4906-9138 uh, multi candela um, multi-tone horn strobe 
which uh, I just have it set to the regular True Alert horn right now. So just a chime strobe and a horn strobe. Uh, anything else I want to mention? I will mention that uh, NAC1 is programmed for uh, Smart Sync. So another um, nice thing about this panel is it has the Smart Sync feature built in, even though, in my opinion, it is an extremely flawed. Uh, the whole Smart Sync system is extremely flawed. Um, this panel um, does have it as an option, so you don't need an external Smart Sync module with this this panel. And uh, that works great because both of these True Alerts are uh, smart sync. So I have uh, NAC1 programmed for True Alert um, non addressable uh, synchronization smart sync, and um, it, the panel will be coding the alarms to um, code 3. All right, I just went ahead and put the dress panel back on, so now I'm just going to go ahead and um, pull the pulse station. So here we go 3, 2, 1. Alright, that's all there is to it. I'm not going to keep the alarms going too long because unfortunately now I'm in a townhouse. So, going to have neighbors who complain. Pulling it was a little bit awkward because it's sitting on the floor. So, But uh, there's the inside of this pull station. So it's got the old uh, device address still written onto it. I was told this uh, station was pulled from a system upgrade in a building. So... Anyway, uh, I reset the pull station, so let's go ahead and put a reset in the system. There's my, um, there's the, the device that activated, ID net device M1-1 manual pull station. Go ahead and reset. Strobes are uh, in sync, of course, so the camera will focus. All right, no alarms present. System reset complete. So there you guys go. That's the new uh, 4010 I got. And as you guys can see, it uh, it works just great. So that was just the first test of many more to come and many, uh, many hopefully, uh, expansions to come. So thank you guys for watching today. Stay tuned for more, and that'll be it.